Hello everyone, this is Father Hayes with another uh, recommendation video. Uh, this is another book recommendation video. Unfortunately, we don't have Allison with us because Allison is on vacation. So we're going to try to do it without her inspiration and, and her enthusiasm. Um, but in the last uh, book recommendation video, the responses back was asking if I could recommend Catholic books. And that's a very broad topic. There's Catholic literature that I like, I'll like. i talk about at some point down the road. There's literature that's not directly Catholic, but it's certainly influenced by the Catholicism of maybe the author or the, the subject matter. But what I wanted to start with is just some books on church history. Because it's important when we talk about history, we're talking about our story. Our story is Catholics. The other thing, though, with church history is church history takes place within human history. So there's an interweaving, and so it helps us have a Catholic perspective, if you will, on the events of history. One of the things that I have noted in my homilies uh, from time to time is when they change the dating system in some places on the calendar, moving away from uh, B.C. before Christ and A.D., the year of our Lord, now it's BCE, Before Common Era, and then CE, Common Era. Well, if you note it, the, the BCE, CE, Before Common Era, Common Era, still begins the Common Era at the birth of Christ. And so there's a parallel. Everything that we talk about as Common Era is still the same as in the AD calendar. So... That's just for, for what that's worth. And I always make the point, well, what's common about the common era? Because there's so many things that have happened over the last 2,000 years in terms of the advances in technology, the changes in new discoveries, in, in geography, and, and just the changes of uh, historical events and how they've shaped systems, systems of government, all kinds of, there's so many changes. There's only one thing that's common about the common era, and that's Jesus Christ. So, with that in mind, let's talk about what are some books to help us begin, if you are kind of a beginner student of church history, to approach it. Because it is, you know, 2,000 years of history is a pretty big uh, uh, period of time to, to dive into, and it can be a bit intimidating. And certainly there are some authors like Warren Carroll, Dr. Warren Carroll, who has massive uh, series on church history. So those can be a little intimidating. So what's a good starting place? Well, I'll give you three uh, beginner books. The first is called The Catholic Church Through the Ages, a history by Father John Vidmar, who's a Dominican. And he says in the, in, in the preface and the introduction, he in specifically is writing this for the average person. So it's not real big, and it gives kind of an overview of church history. I think in this one, he breaks up church history in six different periods uh, that he's looking at. So this would be the first one that I would recommend as kind of an introductory, let's kind of get the big picture before we start getting into more of the specifics of different events or different people. So that's the first one I'd recommend. The second one, again, this is all, these three are all single volume uh, overviews, is by Steve Widenkoff. And it's called Timeless, A History of the Catholic Church. Now, this is the actual book companion to his video series that he does through, I believe, Ascension Press. Um, but I think you can get this off of Amazon. I think all of these you can get off of Amazon or, or your local Catholic bookstore. But again, single volume, um, very reader-friendly, really geared toward, directed toward the average person. Um, so it's uh, a good introductory one. And then finally, this one's a little bit older, but not too old. Uh, it's called Triumph, The Power and the Glory of the Catholic Church, A 2,000-Year History by H.W. Crocker III. And I think um, Crocker was a uh, convert to the faith, and um, I guess just felt moved to write a, a history. You know, he's... He's discovering his personal story of faith within the context of our story of faith, which is our church history. And again, single volume, uh, pretty readable. Um, again, available on um, Amazon. So 
those are just three. There's certainly a number of other single volume ones that you can start with, but I think those are three good ones to start with. So when we're studying history, we're also studying the people within the history. Now, a number of those uh, we can, have come to know as the saints. Um, not everybody that is has a place in the story of history, especially the story of the church history, has been made a saint or declared a saint, but many of those who helped shape the history or were deeply influenced by the history um, are the saints. So when we are studying history, we're also studying the saints, and when we're studying the saints, a good way to really get to know them is to do it within the historical context. So with that said, a good way to do that is through novels. And there's a particular novelist from years ago, Louis de Wool, and he has a whole number of uh, novels on different saints. Um, he has, uh, this one is called Citadel of God. It's a novel about St. Benedict. This one is called The Golden Thread, which is a novel about St. Ignatius of Loyola. And this one is a novel called Lay Siege to Heaven. It's a novel about St. Catherine of Siena. And all three of these individuals certainly played um, uh, big roles within the context of uh, historical events that also shaped the history of the church. Louis de Waal has many others. Um, he's certainly one uh, called The Restless Flame about St. Augustine. And um, all of his are available through Amazon. Now what I've noted is that sometimes it's hard to actually find a hard copy, hard copy or paperback, but like a, a physical copy but he seems to have a pretty good selection um, through Kindle. So if you do Kindle, um, that might be a good uh, resource as well. So Louis DeWall is good because he, he does a good job helping us come to know the saint, but he's also really sharing with us what's going on within the history, and he's is a good storyteller as well. Final set of recommendations, again, talking about the saints, um, and these are just a good gem too about coming to really begin a, a uh, diving into the theology of the saints, is Pope Benedict's collections of his Wednesday audiences. What Pope Benedict did is spent a lot of time talking about individual saints, starting with the apostles, and then he started with, and uh, went from the apostles to the next generation, which we call the church fathers. This is the generation that was formed by the apostles, and then kind of some select uh, people uh, throughout church history. So this is um, his collection on, it's Jesus, the Apostles, and the Early Church. And they're short, because these Wednesday audiences are about 15 minutes, I think. So the chapters are actually pretty short and, and definitely very readable. As a German, he's very precise, he's very to the point, and that's, I think, very helpful. Then he's got volume one, and Volume 2 on the Church Fathers. Volume 1 goes from Clement of Rome to St. Augustine, and Volume 2 goes from St. Leo the Great to Peter Lombard. And I actually used these books for my class on the Church Fathers rather than the assigned text because I don't read, I read a lot, but I don't read fast. And so this was actually a way for me to keep up with the material in smaller chunks. So it's, I think, helpful for someone who's beginning to dive into history, dive into learning about the individual saints, and also diving into the theology uh, to get it in those good, manageable, small chunks. The last one here, although this is not the last one within this category from Pope Benedict, this is on great teachers. And it's a little bit more spread out, but it would include people like Francis of Assisi and St. Anthony of Padua, St. Bonaventure, Albert the Great, Thomas Aquinas, um, those saints who were great teachers of the faith. One of the things you'll notice is this version is from Ignatius Press in terms of the publisher, and this one is from Our Sunday Visitor. So you can get them from either publisher, and you can get them all through uh, Amazon. Um, it's basically the same talks, just two different publishing houses. And he's got a number of other ones that um, cover you know, doctors of the church. Um, one is on um, women saints, 
Um, and there's a little bit of overlap, so a great teacher, may, Thomas Aquinas, is also a doctor of the church, so he may be in a couple of the books. But these are all good kind of starter sources to, number one, begin to learn our story, our history as Catholics, which interweaves with world history, but also begin to learn who are some of those people that really shaped the history or were shaped by the history. So hopefully this is something that you'll find uh, helpful and, and begin you on that journey of learning and discovering um, our story as Catholics.